Hello everyone. In this tutorial we will draw Belgian beer glass. In the upcoming tutorials we're going to draw different objects from easy objects to model to more difficult objects to model. If you're new to the program make sure you watch my previous tutorials. In those tutorials I explain step by step some of the features and tools you're probably going to use the most of the time when you're working with SolidWorks and I will give a lot of tips and handy shortcuts so watch those videos first if you're a beginner opening the program for the first time because the pace in these tutorials will be a bit quicker okay let's begin we're gonna select a front plane go to sketch and then we are gonna select a center line we're going to click on the origin. We're going to draw a vertical line. Then we're going to select center line again. We're going to line uh, draw a line from this point horizontal to this point. We're going to select center line again. And then somewhere in the middle of this line we're going to draw another line and at the bottom we're gonna draw a line and along those points we're gonna draw the profile so release by hitting the escape button and then we're gonna give those lines a dimension so we go to smart dimension select the vertical line first this line will have a dimension of 97 millimeters um, line at the top will have a dimension of 42.5 millimeters this line in the middle will have a dimension of 55 millimeters and at the bottom this line will have a dimension of 20 millimeters. Then uh, the distance between these lines uh, will be 58 millimeters. And then our sketch is defined. Um, we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna draw the profile from this point to this point and then to this point uh, we're going to select the arc so select arc uh, click on this point then on this point and then click again and then an arc from this point to this point and we are also going to draw an arc from this point to the middle that it's aligned with the center line and we're gonna draw another center line to connect them and then hit the escape button again and then we're gonna give these lines dimensions so go to smart dimensions again select this line this line will have a radius of 30 uh, 130 uh, millimeters this one will have a radius of 80 and I want this line to be tangent with this line so we're gonna select this line then we're gonna hit the shift button and then we're gonna select this line and then you can select tangent then we're gonna select uh, center line again click on this point this has to be a horizontal line and then I want and this line to be tangent with this line 
So we're going to click on this line, hold the shift button again, click on this line, and then we're going to select tangent again. Now we're going to close the sketch first. So we're going to go to line, close this off, and we're going to close this. Hit escape, and then we're going to go to features, revolve bus base, and we're going to revolve this profile around this center line. Hit OK, and then we're going to shell it because it's a gloss, of course. So we're going to go to shell and select where the opening will be, the opening will be at the top. And then you can check the profile by clicking on this box. And we're going to give it a thickness of 1.5 millimeters. Click OK. Then we're going to draw the middle part. So we're going to go to the front plane again, sketch, normal 2, and then we're going to draw a center line from here to here. So select the, the bottom of the glass, go down. And then we're going to click on escape. I'm going to give this line a dimension. It will be 50 millimeters. Then we're going to select line. And we're going to draw a line here. And this line will be 9 millimeters, so smart dimension. Like this line, nine millimeters. And then I want a line that is that follows this profile of the glass. So we are going to go to convert entities. And then we're going to select intersection curve. Then we're going to select this face. We're going to hit OK. And then you can see that we have a line that follows this curve. And we're going to revolve it again. So we only need this line over here. And we're going to trim the line. So use trim entities. Then we're going to select power trim. We're going to click and drag and then release. And then you see that we only have this line left. Then we're going to go to center line again. And we're going to draw a line from here upwards to, and then horizontal line. And we're going to give this horizontal line a dimension of 12.5. And then we're going to trim this part again because we don't need it. So we're going to go to trim entities, click, drag, and release. And then that's, that's also gone. And then we're going to connect these lines together. So we're going to click on the line, click on this point, we're going to connect it, release. And then we're going to revolve this profile around this center line. We're going to go to features, revolve boss base. Yes. We want uh, SolidWorks to close the sketch for us. So we're going to click on this line and we're going to 
hit the OK button again. And then we're done with the middle parts. And we're going to draw the, the bottom parts. So we're going to go to the front plane. Select sketch. And then we're going to select the center line again. And then we're going to click on this point right here. In the middle, we go down. And we're going to make this, uh, we're going to give this a dimension of 18 millimeters. Then we're going to select the center line again. And then from this point, we go draw a horizontal line. And we're going to give this a dimension of 40 millimeters. Then we're going to click on line again. And we're going to go up and give this a dimension of 3 millimeters. And then we're going to draw an arc from this point. To this point. So we're going to select the arc, select this point, and then select this point. And we are going to give this arc a dimension of 130. Hit the OK button to release it. And then we are going to offset this profile. So we're going to go to Offset Entities, click on this line, and we're going to offset it with 3 millimeters. Click on OK. And then we will connect these lines. So we're going to go to the Line Tool again. connect this together and right here we have another arc are we gonna go to the arc tool click on this point then on this point and I want this arc to be tangent with this line and I want it to be tangent with the center line I'm gonna draw that you have a smooth surface in the center. So we're going to draw a center line from this point to this point, then click on the center line, press shift button again, press on the arc, click on the arc, and select tangent. And we're going to also make these lines tangent to each other. So we're going to click on the arc again. And then on the other arc, and this one will also be tangents. Then we are going to close the sketch. So we're going to select the line tool again, go up, close this, and close this. Hit the escape button, and then we're going to go to features. Revolve bus base, select the center line, and then we're going to hit OK. And then, uh, yeah, what you can do is um, use some fillets to finish the glass. So we're going to click on fillet, we're going to have a fillet of 35 right here and you can also draw a spline for example or you can draw uh, a profile at once but I chose to do a fillet here and then we're gonna have a fillet right here and right here of 
with a radius of five. And then you can um, finish these edges off. So we use a radius of 0 0.75 here, here, and then here, and here. And then your gloss is finished. Thanks for watching.